So happy Friday evening to each and every one of you out there. This is conditioning, total body workout. All you need is two light hand weights this evening. I'm just using two and a half kilogram plates. You can use anything you can get your hands on, bottles of water, baked bean cans. Also, I've got myself a mat just set out of the way for now, but I'm on a hard surface. When we get down to the floor, I want to be comfortable. Now, if you've got a carpet or a rug or something anyway, you'll be absolutely fine. But if you like something a bit more, comfortable then grab yourself a mat go and get a nice one so we got a nice easy warm-up it's a little bit dancey and then we're going to work the lower body we're going to work the upper body and then we're going to work the middle and then we're going to stretch and then we're done take as many breaks as you need to if you need any options please take those as well let's do this i'm going to push play on some music we're going to have a great friday night <laughs> Work out. feet nice and wide Give me a little spring tap. Just a little spring tap here. So feet wide. Just bounce your toes into the floor. Heels, you can just jump up and down. That's fine. Got a nice echo around my room. I need more of these things around my room, I think. This is that reverb. Okay, listen. Give me two more here. Three steps that way. Two taps here. Three that way. Bring it out. Lift your knees up. Bounce your doing toes it, in doing it, doing it and just a walk across. Everybody you know the grapevine and it's always an option. Everybody if you want it, you can turn it. It's a back turn. So push your left shoulder back. Sprint out. Push your right shoulder back. Hit it. Tap it. Twist it. I think we got that. Turn it, stay here, chill, just a little step, a little tap of your toe. Now if you don't want to add that turn, you know you don't have to add that turn, okay? But you do have to snap up here, another option for you, double tap, let's go! You should be used to this move by now. It's just a little tap with your toe like that. 138 beats per minute, pretty quick. Hey. Bring it to me. Hup. Keep your arms lifting. Keep your body shifting. Step touch to the back like that. Then that's it. Yeah, you got this warm up. Bounce to me. Everybody got a disco? Take it back though. You don't love the arms? Just give me the feet. A little bend of your knee. We'll do that two more times. Bring it to me. Give your right arm. Give me one foot. How do you take it back? Like that. Let's try it one more time for Francesca's silver trousers. Left hip, right hip, left hip, right hip. Bit of neck mobility if you will. Take it back, take it back. Dumbbells at the ready. New move. Two hops from your right foot. Two left. Just a couple of hops. Toe to heel. Swing it down, swing it down. You can stay with this, it's fine. Or start the bouncing to the floor. Nice way to get some walk into your cuffs. Get them all springy. If you want some more arms, you can get them up like that. Should do another move. Two kicks left leg. Two kicks right leg. Now get the weight back into the hip. Drop your shoulders back a touch. Keep your chest up. You're holding your braces. <sighs> Can you bounce? Two hops, right leg, drop down. Pick it out two times right now. Two hops, right leg, bounce down. Two kicks, left leg, right now. And that's it. Do it again, do it again now. Loose. Got some bouncy house this evening. Not for a bouncy house, but in this house, should we take it from the top? Spring tap, two times, pick it up, pick it up. Back turn if you want it. Swat hitch, back turn. Now bring it to me with the left tap, right tap, left tap, right tap. Keep it coming now. Two hops, right foot, take it back. Double bounce, double bounce, double bounce. Stay. Two kick, left leg, bring it in now. 
And that's it. She did another go. Hills, spring tap. Wrap it. You don't want to turn? Three. Little steps over. Now tap to me. Do the left tap, right tap, swing of the arm. And another the head. Two bounce, right leg. Stay here. You can drag the foot behind you. Wave of it. Two kick on the left. She do the whole thing two more times. For Ali. Hit it! Come on! Turn your or don't land your bring it! Get those heels up high now with those hamstrings. Two kick right foot, drop it! Two kick left foot, don't stop it! You know you got one more in there, right? Sure you do. Spring it! Who's turn? Who's learning? Bring the fall, who's burning? Keep tapping those toes. Just a gentle press onto the floor. Too hot. Two kick toes, stop! You know what it's time for? It's time to squat. Heels outside the hips, drop two. So we're gonna do the lower body first today. We're gonna get it all done. No mix and matching. Now we're gonna work for the upper body. And then we're gonna get to hit the core and abs. Stay here, let's work on some range. Try and get your butt down to your knee line or work your way down to that. As you do it, your chest is forward. And a lot of that weight stays back into the heels. Push for your whole foot. Let's go 16 quicker. Pump it, drop it, and drive it. Now when you rise up, try not to lock your knees out. But get your hips forward and actively squeeze your glutes. So it's never this. If this is happening, sometimes it means that your knees aren't coming forward and they have to come forward. Or that does happen. You get hip compensating for lack of ankle movement. Sometimes it helps put your heels on a couple of rises. Let's go slow again, Francesca. Two, two. Ah. Sometimes it's just about taking your feet wider. Open your hips more, turn your toes out more, push your knees out more. It's a short set now. How about just eight quick ones? Pump it, drop it, and drive it. Squeeze it at the top. Like it's never gonna stop. And then it's time to heat these up. We shift the load more into the front of the thigh now, as I say. One bottom half. Now big push to the top. Do it again now, a little one. And then that big one. Now spread your toes. You can plant those down too. Triple pulse. Yes, please. Three. Twice. Again. Eyes up. Chest up. Again, we got another set. So let's go back to that bottom half. Slow bottom half. Down. Halfway. Down and thrust. Still not locking the knees. Couple more, please. Still pulling in tight. The lower you go, the tighter you pull in. Three. Squeeze it. A bit more through those inner thighs now as well. Opening out a little bit more. Okay, you got one more here. Now check it. Stay on your right foot. You got a nice slow deadlift. You're going to drop down. And we're just going to focus on this right side. Now you can reach down. You can reach forward. You can reach with one arm. Or you can reach with... Both arms. Also, you can flex this back knee more, and that's going to make it easier. But want you to keep in check here is a nice long back. It's hip through the hip, but push your chest out. Okay, you've got eight more like that. It's a great movement. A single leg deadlift for the gluteals and those hamstrings to around the back of the body. Okay, you got four more here. As the sound changes. Maybe a little deeper when you got it. That was 16 reps. Can you change it over to the other leg now? Slow. So all back to basics. No combos. Not tonight. It's all basic stuff. We pick an exercise. We keep doing that exercise. And when we do things like this, if you need balance, you've got to keep it nice and slow. So don't worry about having to move fast. 
for having to think too much when you're balancing. I'll keep it slow. And I'll keep it simple. So how about eight more here? Now hopefully now you're starting to feel a nice tug through the back of that thigh, yeah? Just make sure you've got a little bend always in this grounded knee. There's always a little bit of flexion in that left knee here. You want more. Again, the more bend in this leg, the easier it's going to be. If you want to go harder, keep that leg long unless you've got a wall behind you. Okay, you've got one more than that. Let's go back to that right leg for the short set. Slow. Two. Are you a down reacher? Or are you a forward reacher? I'm getting wonky now. Is this your good leg? I'm more right-legged myself. So this is your right leg. So maybe most of you, this is your good side. Let's switch it back over to the left. It's a short set, last set, let's go. Okay, you got four more here, so hang in there. Okay, next exercise, gonna hit the inner thigh a little bit more and a bit more through glute necks as well. To hit those areas more, you wanna take your feet out super wide. Triple pulse. You're gonna stay down for three and then rise up. So we want you wider than you were before and you're opening your knees and toes out more, but you've still got a long back. So chest up and pull in. Now you might realize that we are not loaded here. There's no bar, there's no weight, which gives you the license to get practically as low as you want to get. You want to get deeper? Get deeper. I'm going to show you the next bit. You're going to start with your right leg and only your right leg. Drag, jump, three. Right leg, drag it, same leg. Three pulses and then create friction by pressing the ball of your foot into the floor. This where it helps to have a wooden floor. If you've got carpet, oh well. If you got more friction, creating some static energy. Other side! It's gonna give me eight a piece here. So the more you push into the floor, the more you feel here. Anything you want to do with your arms. I like the twist from here. Slap! Okay, you got one more please. We're going back one more set per side. To get back on that right. Drag that right. Jump it. Drag that right again. Jump it. The short adductors and the hips are open. That means more gluteus maximus. Okay, one more this side. And then eight ball this side. So let's switch it last time, Hills. Try and get in. Can you still feel that pressing against the floor? No paper plates in this workout. Four more. Just by squatting wide, you hit those little thighs. Okay, we are going to introduce a mat now. We're going to come down to the floor. Lying down the supine position. So, if you need a mat, go get one, lay it flat. Both heels down, two count, let's go. Hip bridge. Okay, we did these last week. We did these quite a lot, but again, they're great for glutes, also the hamstrings, and I let the spine eye up lower back. Stay slow, nice and easy. Just come up onto your shoulders and try and get near enough a straight line from these through those shoulders. They can take your arms out of the equation altogether by reaching up or maybe palms up. When your palms are down, you start to push a little bit. We don't want to do that, so flip them over, okay? So you can make those arms. Here we go, time to pump it. 16 quick ones. Up. We're going to practice for the thrust of freedom. 
that's good. Even though you're here, make sure it's not too much pushing through the elbow either, yeah? Really focus on what's going on down here. We're still working through the posterior chain. No arms necessary. Okay, how about you keep your right foot down and you bring it up nice and slow. Lift it and drop it. You can tap that foot down just to finish your rep. Couple more here. Again, try it, test it. Are you here? Eight quick ones. Eight quick. Or maybe you need that little bit of stability. Now we're on the one side, okay? Okay, last four. Then we're gonna change sides. Hello, glutes feeling. Ready. Switch, slow, two. Let's go. Raise up, raise up. To actively squeeze the glute. You're probably gonna feel it through those hamstrings anyway. Let's dig the heel. Get the hips as high as you can for eight quick ones. Go. Eight. Hang in there. So I'm going to give you one more set per side here. To change it again. Nice and slow. Two. Are you still digging that heel? As you're thrusting that hip forward. Your hip extends to work. Eight quick ones. Pump it, pump it, come on. Ooh, it's like a build up before the beat drops. Two more. Change sides. Last set, slow. Ease it up. Now when you go down, be aware of that lower back. You've got a neutral curve running for that lumbar spine here. Every single. Back to neutral, let's go. For eight. Seven. You're just placing that safe one back down. Keep it coming down. Okay, last couple. Stop. Okay, when you bring it onto the side, I'm just gonna adjust my head mic. You're gonna turn onto the side and you're gonna face me. Now on your knee on the floor, we're gonna put on the floor as well. You're gonna check, you're gonna push your leg up, you can drop it, you're gonna lift it. Now you're going to bring it back in. Do that again. So push it out. Drop it down. Lift it up. And knee on the floor. Keep going. Push. Foot in line with the floor or toes. Just under here, okay? One more. You know what? I think it's starting to go a little faster. The same thing. Just pick up the pace. Eight. Seven. You know the rest, right? Get a piece about a drop. You do it four more times. Come on. These arms can do anything. Just don't push into that floor too much. Rather than just release the arm. Okay, last one. Listen, just push and pull. Eight. Seven. Finish it. And we've got one safe side here. Hang in there. Now listen, just to finish. Last two, we're gonna hold it up, six reps, down and up. Six, five, why are we at six? I'm gonna give you the last two reps, change sides, okay? The last one here, and as quick as you can, spin it around, quickly adjusting your mic. Bring it out two, drop two, lift two, and guess what? The higher that leg goes, the more work. So you can choose how hard you wanna work, okay? I don't want to work that hard. Drop it. Lift it. It's a great to hip up like this. And again, loose. How about eight quick ones? Want to go eight quick? Let's go. Drop. Rise. And tap. Now, when you knee goes down, put your toes down as well. Set. Try not to put that hand down. Because when you put the hand down, it's fine as long as you're not putting any weight into it, okay? Okay, again, last one. This time, just out and in. Eight reps. Eight. Seven. Push it up. Think of your foot for releasing your best sidekick. Because we only did six reps on the other side. Home. Then you got six this side. Six. Five. 
Come on. Stop. Good stuff. I'll give you a little rest here. Sit back. Beautiful job. Big as you can. Hips into the heels, lengthen down the back, and out of those glutes. Okay, listen. Legs done. Hands wide. Let's get into the upper body now. We are going to start with the press up. Here are the key features. I need you to lean forward. So when you come down, your elbows are over your wrist. Your elbows are also in line with your chest. So your wrist. So that's where your elbows are. Stay slow. Now if you need an option, knees under your hips. So if you need the option, you can be here. Now Corinne's not on Zoom tonight. But if you do want the option on your toes, it looks like this. You ready? 16 singles. Hang in here now. Every time we drop, make sure your shoulder blades are driving down the back and you keep leaning forward. I'm going to give you eight more here. And there's not any tricep isolation. It's going to give you a lot of tricep work as it is, right? Press up. Primarily, come from the back of the arm. One more. Rest up. Shake. We're going to do that again. We're going to do it again. Do a little shake, rattle and roll. So you've got the options of box, knees leaning forward, or on your toes. 16 singles. Let's go. 16. 15. Chest down to the crease of the arm. You don't have to face plant. You can go too low, you know. Now when we start up the teeth, we start to stick the bar. Please don't do that. Keep leaning forward. That is going to stress your shoulder. You've got to lean forward. Last two. Everybody, rest. Shake it, rattle it, roll it. You've got one more set. One more set of 16. That sounds fun. Make this your best set. Pick your favorite option. Even here, lean forward, okay? 16, go get it. Come on, we've all got 16 press-ups. Hang in there. You get eight more? Yes. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Place up. Slow two. Now I'm hoping you didn't see me transition from my mat to my place. Because your head and your eyes are facing down. Hey! Checklist. One, two, three, four. Let's go. Open. If you don't love it, you can hold it for a long time. So you've still got that isometric contraction whether you're holding or opening again. So side out. Middle deltoid. That's what it's all about here. You got one more. Now let's hit the rear. Now listen, drop down. Palms to your knees, lift the elbows for two. Without squeezing up through the neck. Squeeze in between your shoulder blades and hit the posterior head. Okay, again, we're going to speed it up. We're going to hold it up there and take those arms into extension. Lift, open, flex, drop in front of the knees. So again, your option would be here. But again, you've got to hold a long time, yeah? Either way, you got more. Come on. Back of the arm as well, yeah? Nothing in the neck, though. Okay, stand straight. Let's go back to the TP out sideways, nice and easy. Easy, squeezy. Side down. Tear them up. Want to find some punches after this one, Ali, yeah? Hey, open and extend. You know it. Again. I said again! How long are your legs? How long are they? Four more! No high in shoulders, please. You go lower, that's easier, but no high. Don't risk impingement. Last time, now tip through the hip, plate to the knee. 
Bring it up, two count, please. So what weight you're lifting? Even if you're just using your hands, you would still feel something. You have no weight at all on your hands. Lift and extend. It's that hold. That's what gets you. When you get short, it's a long lever. You get that load. Changing intensity. How long is your back feel when you're down here? You're pushing your chest out. You're locking your arms in. Is your eye gaze down on your floor? For two more. Finish it now. Gonna give you a little shaky time. Shake it out. Now we're gonna isolate the anterior part, but again, it's gonna hit tricep. To get into this one, your elbow wants to be close, in line with the shoulder, and under your wrist. And so does the other one. Look at my forearms. They're pretty much in line with each other. Left, right. Straight up. So look, this is what it isn't. Look at my elbows now. This is easy. Because I'm internally rotating from my shoulder. Quite externally rotate. Open them out. Keep it coming. This is also one. This is recovery. So now I put my elbow on my ribcage. What I want to be doing is stopping there. So I'm always loaded. And two rebounds always on fire. Both arms. 16. Go. 16. This is it. One big set. That's all I want. I don't want much, yeah? Keep it coming. Keep it coming. See, your plates aren't starting to sink closer together, are they? Try and bring your elbows closer. Take your plates wider. Bring your elbows closer. Feel the difference. Feel the, feel the difference. Four. Three. I'll give you another shake after this. So hang in there. I'm going to get you some help. Shake. Whoa. Okay, a little isolation work for triceps now. We're going to start with your elbows up, working both arms together. Check it. Slow back to Flex down 90 degrees for two. So I say 90 degrees. You probably can't see your arm. You're trying to keep the plate under the elbow. What it's not doing is coming all the way into the shoulder. Because that's going to bring in momentum and also bring in some shoulder swing. We don't want that. We want control and we want isolation. And that means single joint. In this case, it's just the elbow. Now listen. 16 quick ones. Go get them. 16. 15. Keep it coming, keep it coming now. You know you got more than that. You got eight more than that. Ah. Got a love work in the triceps. But we already killed them on press ups, right? So I'll tell you what, give me some more shaky time. West. Shake it, roll it. We're gonna do that again, but only half a set, okay? Only half a set. They're still going, well done. So a little flexion in the knees, a big tip through the hip, lift the elbow to get back to two, nice and slow, four reps here, flex to 90. That's where you want your side mirrors back, we're nearly back in the studios aren't we? One more, how long is your spine? Eight quick ones, go, eight, yeah get me seven, down for six, then count the five. How long your levers when you extend those arms? One more. Done. Good. Mats are back. Mats are back. Okay, look. Hands by your sides. Feet outside hips. Lift chest. Two counts. And drop. Now, this is always the easy variation I give you. We do dorsal raises or dorsal extensions. We're thinking about keeping it through the posterior chain. In this case, we're trying to drag the shoulder blades down the ribcage. We're trying to glide the shoulder blades down the back as we squeeze the lats. So if you get any problems with the next phase, you can come back to this one. This is the next phase. Fingers on temples. So we're still trying to bring the shoulder blades down the back, but also now we're going to try and retract them. We're going to try and bring the shoulder blades in toward the spine. And we're going to do it four more times. So as you lift the chest, open the elbows. Put your fingers off your head and open the elbows. And you only come up onto your lower ribs. So your hips, your knees and your feet are down. Okay, stop, sit back, rest. Breathe. Just a quick release. 
We are going to do that again. But this time, you choose your option, okay? Arms by your side. We want your 10 pulls. So let's go. Two. Slow. We're going to keep it slow. Just make sure we're not elevating. Drop the shoulders down as they retract. Okay, you got more than that. Come on, eight more. Again, when we get to this stuff, slow and control today. If you've got a variant, come back to this. Just try and track your fingertips down your thighs. Again, reach down as low as you can toward the knees. Touch them if you can. You've got one more here. And then again, we sit back. Rest. Now I'm going to give you one more set. You can pick. Pick your favorite. So let's come forward again. This is it. Hips down, knees and feet down. Don't move your legs. Lift up, two, two. Let's go. I'm always working my retractors. Great exercise for posture. You've got that rounded shoulder posture. Sometimes we're a little bit tight on the front. And we're not strong enough around the back. This is opening of the front out as we strengthen up the back part. So the posterior deltoids, the rhomboids, and the mid fibers of trapezius. Keep going. Okay, you got a couple more here. Finish it off. Because I got my small plates, that's what we're gonna be. We're gonna roll onto the back now. So if you've got a plate or two, Go get one. If you don't like using weights, that's fine. Focus, mobilizers, before we get back into those stabilizers. Long legs, full roll up. Let's go, roll up for four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four. Again, roll up, roll up. Now, we've got four exercises, and we've only got two sets this evening, okay? We're going to do the mobilizing abdominals first. And then we do the stabilizers, the core. Okay, bring your knees into 90. Reverse curls, knees toward chest. Roll in, roll out. Now when you roll in, try and roll your sacrum, the base of your spine, away from your mat. The light appears under here. And then tap. When you're tapping your feet down, can you feel a neutral curve in that lower back? Not lifting too high. Just gotta keep these tight, yeah? Okay, here it comes. Driving this daisy. Plates up the ceiling. We're gonna twist. One side. Other side. Now look, I'm squeezing the rib into the hip. If I wanted to make it easier, I'll reach the plates forward, but I'll still try and steer the plates. As I drop my armpit down, squeeze into my lat, squeeze those ribs into the same side hip. You ready for the last move? Feet to ceiling. Modified jackknife, let's go. Hup. 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 Just get your hips up. Option, lead with the knees. You choose. You got eight more than that. Keep them coming. Today were your four exercises. We're going to do them all over again. Long legs, full roll up. We've only got one more set here. Breathe, exhale, inhale, exhale. Does it feel like you're rolling through your back? Roll up, long spine, and then roll down. Two more times. So can you feel any flat parts in your back? Hopefully not. All the way down, knees to 90, reverse kill, 2-2, two, two. let's go. Slow and control. Keep them coming. Breathe. You can hear four more in there, right? Remember, this is your last set. Only two sets today. Two big laps around. So two more now. And then we're gonna go for a little drive. Drive it, Miss Daisy. Feet down. Twist it up right now. For one side. It's a great bit of a focus for those obliques. That unilateral movement. That little bit of lateral flexion. 
Ah, peaceful music. Use it. What driving this stage would listen to. Okay, get your toes to the ceiling. Toes up. 16. Now if it's burning, that's fine. Push. Breathe through it now. Now 16 is a big number. So if you haven't got 16, you can always take a rest and then come back in for 8 when you're ready, yeah? 7. But hey, sometimes we do 4 sets of these. So I know you're strong enough. One more. Roll up. Okay, let's get rid of those plates. We're back on the front. You ready, heels? Now look, hands under your shoulders, feet off the floor. Right knee to right arm. Touch. Touch. It kind of sweeps to the outside. So we're still working mobilizers, but now you're activating the muscles for the core big time. I'll tell you what, you can do eight more. Just up the side. Most working into transverse abdominals. Make sure you're breathing to suck the navel into the spine. Keep your hips flat and lean forward the whole time. Let's go the other way now. Left, left, let's go. Touch. Touch, come on. Keep that lean in. We're not leaning back and we're not lifting the hips up or rounding out the back. Stay as flat as you can. If you've got to go down to your knees, this would be your option. When you pound too much, knee down. Four more now. now. I know your shoulder's getting tired. So I'll tell you what, shake your time. Woo! That was 16 reps each side. How did that feel there? Pretty good, right? Can you do eight and eight and then alternate? No? Okay, wasted. Right, right. Eight. Seven. Come on now, squeeze it up. That hip to whip now. Whip the hip. I work the reverse. Insertion for origins. Switch. Let's go. Come on. Remember, you've got to alternate. Right knee to left arm. Eight reps. Let's go. Now switch. Just a little cross here. Keep switching. Four more. Finish it off. Done. Woo. Stay there. I'm just going to kill a bit of volume. Just a bit of volume. Well done. You can sit back. Right here. Everybody looks different here. My hips are always tight. Try and lengthen down the back and out of those glutes. Then bring the hands closer to you. Tuck your toes under. I want you to fire your hips up and then place those heels down. Try and get a long back by pushing your chest and just tuck the chin in gently. You feel that nice calf stretch as well. If those heels are down. One of those stretches you want to hold all night. You realize you've got a bottle of something in the fridge. Okay, stand up onto one knee. Tilt the pelvis, lunge into it, open up the hip flexors. Let's get into the back of the shoulder. That posterior down. And then back of the arm. Reach down your back, lift your chest, and then lean over. Take it all the way down from the elbow, all the way down toward that knee. If you want to stand up, stand up. Otherwise, grab your foot here. A little length into those quads. If you can't balance, sometimes standing up on one leg weirdly helps. Eh? Okay, hamstrings, straight leg here, toes up, center over it, and just feel that stretch for the back of that thigh. That's where we tend to find our hamstrings. Okay, let's switch it over. Big step forward, tuck. Lunge, straight arm across. Woo. And then here, reach and lean over. So 
So if you can't kneel, if you can't stand, how about you lay on your side? Or lay on your front. As long as you're flexing that knee, you're gonna open those quads out. And then again, hamstrings to the long leg. And then just sink as low as where you can feel it. And then you can put your hands down, hold them there. And we're just detoning the muscles here. Nothing progressive. This has stopped me shaking, right? Okay, on your hands, we hit the adductors today. So feet nice and wide. Again, same ball here. You can be on fingers and thumbs. If you go lower, flat hands, put some weight through them. Or if you want to, maybe down even lower than that. Just be where you're comfortable. If you put weight in the hands, that allows the inner thighs, the adductors, to relax. Then rise up, round your back, tight your shoulder blades, tip your chin, just relax. Open out nice and wide. Bring your hands together behind you. Shoulder blades into your spine. Feet together nice and close. And then take your hands underneath your legs. Pull up into that lower back. Just a little traction. Just make me two millimeters taller. And then touch toes. Rise up. And thank you very much. Drink water. Keep moving. And then it's the evening. So go and have a lie down or something. Anyway, thank you. Bye-bye.